Israeli strikes on the northern Syrian city of Aleppo killed more than 40 people including six members of Lebanese armed group Hezbollah, two security sources said. The deadliest attacks so far in an intensified Israeli campaign against Iran's allies in Syria, the attacks targeted several areas in Aleppo's countryside, Syria's Ministry of Defense said. It did not provide casualty figures, only saying a number of civilians and military personnel were killed and property was damaged after Israel and unnamed armed groups carried out the strikes, according to Syria's state news agency Sanadat Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said in posts on X that Israeli strikes hit a weapons depot near Aleppo International Airport, resulting in a series of large explosions. At least 36 Syrian soldiers were killed, it said, adding that Hezbollah weapons depots were located in the area. Israel, which has vowed to stop Iranian entrenchment in its northern neighbor, has carried out hundreds of strikes on targets in government-controlled parts of Syria in recent years, but it rarely acknowledges them. The frequency of these strikes has increased since Israel's war with Hamas in Gaza began following the October 7 attacks. Hezbollah has had an armed presence in Syria since it joined the country's conflict fighting alongside government forces. Aleppo, Syria's largest city and once its commercial center, has come under such attacks in the past that led to the closure of its international airport. Four people were killed and seven were hurt when a man went on a stabbing rampage across multiple locations in a northern Illinois community. A 15-year-old girl, a 63-year-old woman, a 49-year-old man, and a 22-year-old man were killed in the incident and five others who were injured were transported to local hospitals with serious injuries, the Rockford Police Department said in a news release. Point five people were injured in the city of Rockford and two people were injured in the jurisdiction of Winnebago County, Rockford Police spokesperson Michelle Marcom told. A man, 22, has been arrested and is being questioned by police. Police said the motive for the attacks remained unclear. The home invasion occurred on Florence Street but the attacks unfolded at multiple locations. Police say Winnebago Country Sheriff Gary Carwana said a young woman had sustained stab wounds to her hands and face after being seen running away from the suspect. Rockford Police Chief Carla Red said that not all of the victims had been stabbed, but added that none had suffered gunshot wounds, she said police did not believe there were any other suspects at large, not all of the victims found at multiple addresses in the city had stab wounds and none were shot, according to Red. Red said residents in the area were being asked to review their home surveillance camera footage for anything related to the attacks. Yes, 
Слава, слава, слава! 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 Слава, слава, слава!